With Wally Got Wasted, it sounds like it was, it was a fun project with you and Seth, and there were no time constraints in the writing. Have you had a screenwriting project where there was time constraint, and what happened? I've been lucky. I haven't had a script that, well, no, that's not true at all, actually. Three Guys on a Couch, no, we raised the money. And so I had a month, I had a month to write that script, actually. So no, very much I've had a time restraint. Um, it's just really, really obsessing over it and really trying to get it good. And Three Guys on a Couch is about three guys running out their couch. And, <clears throat> and I had two storylines. Uh, the one guy woke up and he has a girl um, that he thinks he slept with in his room, but he doesn't really remember anything because he drank too much. And he's trying to figure out like what this woman's doing there, but he assumes he slept with her. And she's cleaning and she's doing all this stuff. And he's like, man, she's like the best woman I've ever met. Like she's cleaning the bathroom after I've only slept with her once. So he's trying to figure that out and she keeps appearing. Like she leaves the apartment. He's like, okay, cool. I'll never see her again. He comes home and she's cooking. What are you doing in my apartment? Oh, I'm just cooking us food, you know? And I cleaned this and that. And he's going, oh man, wow. Who is this woman? But okay, he's clueless. At the same time, we're doing couch interviews, trying to fill the couch to make rent because we don't have enough money for rent. So I was in the writing process. I was like, how do I connect these two stories and just obsessing over it, obsessing over it, because they need to be connected for it to be good. And so I eventually figured out, okay, this woman that he woke up and is there, he rented the couch out last night to this woman and he doesn't remember. So they already have filled the couch, the whole episode, but they don't realize it. So that's how the two storylines are tied together. And so then I was like, oh, wow, that, that makes a lot of fun dialogue where she's talking about renting the place and he's talking about sex. And they're totally on two different pages. And so he's very confused by her answers to certain things because he's totally talking about something totally different. So the writing restraints of that was just... I mean, it has to be, there's, in my brain, there's only one good enough. And so it's trying to meet that bar. And when you have a time restraint, it's even more obsessive and you got to X out other things in your life at the moment. I can't pick up my phone or I can't do anything other than this. So it's pure concentration. What happened with that project? <clears throat> uh, we shot it. We ended up shooting Three Guys in a Couch. That was Three Guys in a Couch. It's on Amazon Prime. You can watch it on Amazon Prime. Just like Parole Officers is on Amazon Prime as well for free. And Wally's on Amazon for purchase at the moment and to rent, so. But did, did someone else want you to come in and, and make that project or how did that work with them? Um... Um, it was kind of like the wheels were already turning on Three Guys on a Couch. It was like we had a date already to shoot it. And so that's the thing about raising money for any project. People can tell you they have money, but they don't have money forever. Money just doesn't sit in someone's bank account and they're waiting for you to get around to it. So we raised the money to shoot a TV pilot. And those people that had the money, I didn't want it to go away. So we already had shooting dates. I didn't want to go, hey, listen, we're going to shoot in Jan January, February, March, whatever, when it was December or whatever. So I, I knew that I wanted to stick to those dates. And it was my first time ever shooting anything. So it was like all guns blazing. Let's do this. You know, I didn't want to take any chances. And since then, too, I've learned that lesson over and over again. You know, someone comes up to me and goes, hey, I have this money. I really want to do a movie. And I'm like, I don't have a project yet to, that I want to do. I'm, I'm not sure. Kind of stinks in a way because it's like, man, I wish I had that paperwork in order and the project that I want to do so I can take your money. But I can't take your money if I don't know what I want to do with it yet. You know, so that's happened at least two or three times in my career where somebody has a certain dollar amount and they're like, hey, I'd love to do something with you. And I don't have the project ready yet, you know. And that's the tough part with having, not wanting to ever shoot anything that I'm not passionate about. You know, that's the problem with that. Um, because if I'm not passionate about it, I'm not going to shoot it. Um, I don't want to do it. 